Even as we learn from one another, we need to keep our eyes on the horizon for emerging challenges and opportunities. Developing Asian societies will need to invest further in their healthcare systems to build a strong health system staffed by well-trained healthcare workers and supported by a sustainable healthcare financing system. Basically including all the uncovered services into our benefit package as a discretionary benefit, we can prevent balloon impact, which we experienced before, which prohibited us from expanding the benefit coverage and protecting our people from financial catastrophe. So the question is that with the limited financial resources, how can we really provide a quality a social program? And um, you know, we do have a pretty good working national healthcare system, but still in terms of taking care of this so-called aging segment, uh, we are still learning because it's not really just you know a chronic disease, but it's more of long-term care. Uh, uh, Apart. Yeah, this year, we are trying to integrate from um, various existing schemes into one scheme. And of course, uh, because we have um, various schemes, it is not easy how to integrate in terms of, uh, of course, the institutions, the program, also the asset, and as well as the membership. We are trying to make clear that this healthcare, our healthcare system is not a populist policy. It's just a duty of the government. In any, every government has the duty under the constitution to provide the healthcare protection to the Thai people. And it's the right of the people to receive those care. With a given a set of the resources, uh, probably the best way would be to try to really leave it a more free market type of arrangement for delivery system and therefore the private sector can be much better motivated to come up with a better quality and the ultimate judge would be actually the customers or consumers. There is uh, difficulties that we face during all this last, I'd say the last 20 years. But I would also, but I would not say that we would change and go back or revert back to a so-called nationalized uh, health system. But certainly the devolution has given the responsibility and the uh, participation of the stakeholders, the specific stakeholders, to be a great advantage in moving our reform. Our primary role is, a, is as a tertiary care provider as a hospital. But we look at how do we best serve the communities that feed our hospital and support our hospital. And one of the questions that all hospitals need to make is the appropriateness of having some of their resources out in the community to serve the community and also to act as feeders into the hospital. Thank you to uh, delegates for uh, making the time uh, and participating so wonderfully. Thank you so much, uh, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.